Hi guys, so I'm here today with a very, very exciting haul. I've never done a Lush haul before and oh, I have a Lush bag full of amazing goodies that smell incredible and I cannot wait to share it all with you guys. I don't get a chance to shop at Lush that often because we only have it in Vilnius, our capital in Lithuania and um, I can shop at Lush only when I go there or if I go somewhere abroad. Guys, we have to write a petition or something. We need Lush in Klaipeda. Uh, I know I would shop there all the time. They have Lush in Panorama shopping center in Vilna. So I grabbed the bag. The girl said, are you new to Lush? I'm like, no, no, I know everything I need. I'll ask if I need help. And I was just like grabbing everything that I knew I wanted because, you know, I was browsing online. I knew exactly what products I would like um, judging from the scents and ingredients and stuff and also my big influences and the girls that I blame for buying so many products are Meg from Meg Says and also Melanie from Melanie Murphy. Melanie is like Lush obsessive, she does Lush hauls and talks about their products all the time so I get lots of inspiration from Melanie, thank you for that Mel and uh, Meg also did a Lush haul recently and just made me want to go there and buy everything. So. Okay, ramble aside, I'm gonna start with products and I have um, descriptions of them on my iPad so I'm gonna read about the, you know, ingredients and scents so that you guys could have a little bit of a reference. So, the first thing I got is this bubble bar and it is so pretty, it's just white, it has a pale blue flower with a pink middle and it smells so fresh, so clean. It smells like clean laundry. I imagine having a really relaxing and calming bath with it. This one is called Pop in the Bath. Here is the picture. So I screenshotted uh, the products that I got. So they say about this product, when you need a pick me up, pop this in the bath. There are four different colors to choose from with Pop in the Bath, pink, white, blue, and green. All have the same zesty, bright fragrance. As soon as you crumble this bar under running water, you'll be transported into a citrus grove thanks to a blend of citrus oils, bergamot, lemon, and um, I think it has orange blossom. And I normally am a huge fan of very warm, soft and sweet scents like vanilla, cocoa, nutty scents but I also love orange blossom, neroli like these are my favorite bright zesty scents so it smells a lot like orange blossom and it feels very creamy so I'm sure it's gonna make my bath water really soft and creamy but oh this one, oh I love this one Mmm, it smells so yummy. I actually want to take a bite out of it. So this one is called Creamy Candy. It's a bubble bar and um, it's as if you'd normally reach for a sweet treat to lift your mood. This bubble bar does just the job. Its sweet candy floss smell raises your energy levels and perks you up. It also offers extra moisturization. I can tell that it feels really creamy. Um, then the average bubble bar, as it has a blend of almond and cocoa butter. Creamy candy contains almond oil and butter chunks that melt into the surface of the water, giving skin a velvety texture. And I just love the fact that it has almond and cocoa butters and also a vanilla scent, so it smells really sweet and creamy. This one was 3 euro something, so it was uh, on the cheaper side because these bath bombs are quite expensive and this one is quite affordable, I would say. So I know I'm gonna love this. And then of course, being a sucker for anything honey scented, I had to get this one. It smells amazing. So it's the Honey Bee Bath Bomb. Oh my God, like it smells so soft and kind of like very soft floral honey scent. Oh my God, I love this. And it's huge, this one. Look at the size of it. So it says a good soak in a honey bee bath will soothe and cleanse the skin. Thanks to its wonder three of honey, aloe vera, and rasul mud, a clay mine near Morocco's Atlas Mountains. Honey is a wonder ingredient that soothes, retains moisture, and is antiseptic, and we add plenty of cooling aloe vera too. And the mud has natural cleansing properties that also helps condition and soften the skin. So again, it's gonna be one of those creamy, softening, um, lovely, bath bombs and it just smells incredible and i wouldn't throw it all into the bath because this one is huge so i would break it in half i suppose if you want you can break it in four into four pieces because it's really big this one but i'd probably have two baths out of that one 
Okay. Then I got King of Skin. And this is a moisturizing body bar. And it's gonna melt in my hand if I'm gonna <laughs> hold it like that. And um, it's Tanya Bor's favorite. She always talks about King of Skin. It's just like a moisturizing body bar that um, kind of melts on your skin and you just massage it in. It's melting in my hands, so I'm not gonna hold it for any longer. And Meg says it looks like a bald man head. I I'm sure it's what it's supposed to look like. It's a bald man's head with a crown around it and it's just like, it's so funny. It lost the appeal to me immediately. I never used to look at it as a bald man's head and now that Meg said it, I cannot erase it out of my head. So if your skin needs some nourishment, this yummy smelling blend of bananas, avocados, oat milk and butters will come to your rescue. Avocados nourishing and saturated oil gets to work with bananas natural emollient and oat milks and histamines to give soothe and hydrated skin. Cannot wait to use it because I just love the scent of it. Then this one is a butter ball. Another one of those that I really wanted to get because I know it's just like a really boring looking simple white bath bomb but it's one of the scents that I love so much and I know it's gonna it's supposed to also make your bath water really soft so butter ball if you have dry sensitive or irritated skin this is the bath bomb to replenish it once the cocoa butter pieces have melted your skin will be coated by light buttery film that smells good enough to eat ylang ylang which i also absolutely love is used in aromatherapy to treat stress and depression as well as relaxing the nervous system and relieves anger panic and fear so i guess it's going to be an extremely calming bath bomb and it just has this very like peaceful, calming scent um, and the color is very appropriate to it. Um, and I actually got two of those because I know I'm gonna love it. And I love the limited edition products that they came out with around Christmas time. Sadly, I can never get them, but the butter balls were shaped as teddy bears and that was like the sweetest thing ever. I wanted to get these butter bears so badly. So now they just are like simple plain white balls. And I just love the scent of these. So that's that. And they're also not very expensive in comparison to the other ones. Probably because they're a bit smaller. Okay, the other one I got is the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. This one is big, like the Honey Bee one. And how beautiful is this one? It's like pink and lilac and has a rose in the middle. I don't like anything rosy scented, so. I'm glad this one doesn't smell rosy. So it says, when you've got that feeling, tired, stressed out and anxious, you need some sensual healing. The fragrant blend of jasmine, ylang ylang, oh, love jasmine, love ylang ylang, and clary sage will soon have you relaxed and feeling in the mood. Jasmine is an ancient aphrodisiac used in essential perfume in India for centuries and in aromatherapy to ease stress and anxiety. Clary sage clears the mind while ylang ylang is renowned for soothing worries. So just like the butterball, this one is going to be very relaxing, soothing, and I just love the scent of it. And because it's so big, you can break this one into pieces as well. Oh, my hands are like all powdery. So that's all for bath products. I also got this Lush tin and I got this Soft Coeur um, massage bar, which I wanted to get for the longest time because it smells just heavenly. It's so sweet and sensual and just, oh my god, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna tell you guys what it has in it. And it's also like it melts in my hands when I touch it. So it's one of those bars that you use for massage. I'm gonna bring it to Paris and my boyfriend and I will use it for giving each other a relaxing massage. For lovers of sweet smells, this massage bar featuring a familiar comforting toffee fragrance. We added almond oil to our cocoa butter and shea butter massage bar base to allow this bar to melt quickly on the skin. The honey and cocoa center will leave the skin smelling delicious. Smooth this sweet smelling massage bar over the body for deliciously scented and soft skin. You can use this one just like the king of skin to moisturize your body or you can use it just as a massage bar. Okay, and the last two products I have in my bag, this one is Otifix oatmeal mask for your face. Now these masks aren't very cheap. They're like nine euro 50 or something. For a tiny little tub like this, which you're supposed to use up in like three weeks, I think it's a bit much, but I really, really wanted to try the Otifix mask because 
I'm sure it's gonna smell incredible. It has bananas, it has oatmeal. I'm gonna read about it. This gentle nourishing mask is made with fresh bananas and illipi butter to moisturize dry skin. Oatmeal, ground almonds, and choline work together in a mildly exfoliating base to eradicate dead skin, leaving you soft, supple, and moisturized. You're supposed to keep these masks in the fridge, so in the fridge it goes. And the sales assistant of Lush kindly gave me a sample of cosmetic wearer. So it's a mask that I'm sure will smell disgusting because it has garlic, it has like really strange ingredients. I'm gonna read about it. Um, a gentle and balancing fresh face mask with antibacterial tea tree and fresh garlic working together to cleanse fresh green grapes clean and cool the skin while it's free range eggs tighten um, its texture and antimicrobial honey uh, leaves it soft and moisturized. So I'm pretty sure this one will smell wild having eggs and garlic. Ugh. Let me smell this one. It's. I know this one looks like porridge. Mm, it smells like porridge with bananas. So I cannot wait to give this one a go. I wanna show you guys my last purchase, which isn't from Lush, it's by Diptyque. And I just quickly popped into Creme de la Creme shop where they sell niche fragrances. And I've been putting off getting this perfume for like a year now. I'm so ecstatic about it. It's the Diptyque Eau fragrance, which you probably have heard about it because it's a quite popular Diptyque fragrance along with Philosophos. These are probably like two most popular ones. I don't know. And I got the last one. I'm so happy that you still had it in stock. And I didn't realize that in the picture, when I looked at it, I see that it has Taj Mahal on it. Look, that's so cool. It's just a reminder of my trip to India. So it has the notes of cardamom, elemi resin, olibanum, bergamot, pink pepper, juniper, saffron, black tea, musk, ambergris, and bourbon vanilla. And normally I hate saffron or cardamom and fragrances or pepper. I really don't like those notes, but for some reason in this fragrance, the, the notes blend so gorgeously together that it's just like one of the most beautiful scents ever. This is what it looks like. And oh my goodness, I'm like so happy with this fragrance. And it's not the cheapest, it's 75 euros for 50 milliliters. It's quite pricey, but it's just, it's very unique, at least to me. Like I've never smelled, I love vanilla scents, but I never smelled the vanilla so different. Oh, it's not your like cupcake vanilla. It's a gorgeous, sophisticated, grown-up vanilla. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know I did. I love everything I got and my room smells like a lush shop. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.